We touched on non-parametric PLC modules when we first started looking at the parametric PLC modules. The reason I introduced both at the same time was to show the difference between the two and to highlight the subsequent productivity gains you get from a parametric PLC module. But it may be that you just want to use a non-parametric full unit, which will be an AutoCAD block with the associated attributes. So again, I've created a blank drawing for you, general non-parametric PLC modules. So let's select that and drop that as the active drawing. And we'll yes that and add the project values. Again, good CAD practice. And remember to go to the properties there on the drawing. And this time we're 005 is the sheet number. So I'll update that like so. And again, just do a refresh, just to refresh everything there for the project as well. Then all the numbers show, then all the titles show, and it's neat and tidy. Non-parametric PLC modules. These are on our icon menu. However, you can also go here where the parametric pull-down is and insert PLC full units. That will take you to the icon menu as well. The good thing about that is it takes you straight to the fixed units there. Instead of you having to go icon menu and go, oh, where are they? Uh, there they are. So the quick one there is to go here and insert PLC full units. Now, all of these fixed units here, we've got various options. We've got different ABs there. We've got some automation direct DLs as well. If I go down here, again, same process. I'm clicking on the sort of like tree here. Or if I go here, I've got the icon. Click there and it drills down as well. So what I'll go for here, I've got an L16 AWA, 10 in, 6 out. So I'll select that and there it is there. Now, I can obviously rotate this component at any point. I'm just going to drop it in vertically for the moment. And when I drop that in, it takes me to the Edit PLC Module dialog, just like it would for any other component that is addressed by an AutoCAD block with attributes. So we'll call this PLC001. We'll go for an installation of SX, like I did before, an EX, like that. And we can go and look up a different one if we want to. We can do a catalog lookup. And what you can do, you can add information to each address. So what I might put here, description one for input nine might be mains power. So if I drop that there and then go to this one, and then the next one might be, I don't know, ring circuit. I'm just pulling words off the top of my head here. So ring circuit like that. If I OK that now, it updates. And if I zoom in, we can see things like, there you go, I9, mains power, ring circuit. It's just telling you where those connectors go. And there, you can just see there, SSEX, installation and location. And there's the PLC001. It tells you it's 10 inputs, 24 volts DC, and 6 outputs AC-DC. So all the information is there that you need. So if I now go to my home tab on my ribbon, I'm just going to check that I've got my wires layer handy. There it is. I'll make it the current layer. And again, I'm going to make that red because it just stands out on the drawing for you guys so that you can see what's going on. I'll go back to the schematic. Go to wire and click on wire. As usual, look, I can hover there. There's the nearest. And as I come off, there's my wire. Press enter. If I come this side, nearest there, I can go nearest there if I want to and click and drag. And the wire comes off. Press enter and hit escape a couple of times to finish. Now you'll notice here when you're using a non parametric PLC module, can you see it all neatly ties together with the snaps there? It's coming off the connector nice and neatly. So there are subtle differences to how you connect your wires to your parametric PLCs, your non-parametric PLCs, and even your standalone PLC points as well. So make sure that you, again, clarify and tidy. That's all I can suggest. When you're creating an electrical drawing, clarify and tidy. Make sure that your wiring is coming off of your non-parametric PLC module neat and tidily just like you would with any other PLC component.